probably all of you are already familiar with magnets to some extent. You've probably used magnets to attach things to your refrigerator. You might know that there are magnets in loudspeakers and headphones. What probably isn't so obvious is that magnetism is intimately connected to electricity. But right now we'll talk about magnetism just on its own. You're probably aware that magnets apply forces to each other. In fact, you've seen the opposites attract likes repel with magnets that we have north and south poles of a magnet. North repels north, south repels south, north and south attract. So for instance, two north poles of a magnet will repel each other, as you can see quite well. Two south poles repel. A north and a south pole will attract, as does a south and a north pole. But again, south repels south, north repels north, and attracts south. You might also be aware that this force weakens with distance. As you pull magnets farther apart from each other, their effect on each other is much less. As they get closer, then they notice each other much more. The poles of a magnet are designated north and south based on the preferred orientation in the Earth's magnetic field. So if we randomly displace the orientation of the magnet and release it, the magnet will receive a torque from the Earth's magnetic field. Over time, as it finally settles down to its preferred orientation, you can find out which way is north. That's what a compass does. A compass needle is a small magnet. About a half an hour has passed now, and you can see that the uh, oscillation has attenuated a bit. After a few more minutes, the oscillation is attenuated still more, and you can see that the north pole of the magnet is pointing north. It turns out that that's because the Earth has its own magnetic field that's approximately aligned along the north-south rotation axis of the Earth. And so a magnet is, aligns itself so that the north will point north. Now, we know that north poles of magnets are attracted by south poles, and south poles are attracted by north poles. So the north pole of a magnet is the pole that's pointing north, which means the north pole of the Earth must be magnetically a south pole. If you think about that, it actually makes sense. Now, when we talk about poles of the magnet, that seems a lot like positive and negative charges. We've seen that we can separate electric charges, for instance, when we rub a balloon against a piece of fur. Well, how about magnets? If we have north and south poles, can we break them apart and have a north pole magnet and a south pole magnet, like we can have a positive and negative electric charge? It turns out that we've never been able to do that. That's not definitely to say that it can't be done. Most theories of magnetism that physicists use nowadays indicate that, you, that it can't happen, that north and south poles are always intimately together. So probably magnetic monopoles don't exist. Can't say that for 100% certainty, but as far as we know, there is no such thing as a monopole magnetic north pole by itself, magnetic south pole by itself.